Hi, Milers. This is Beverly of Miles and Coffee. Today, we explore the Ixcaret theme park in Mexico. Is it worth the money? Let's look and find out. I hope you'll join me. Every single day. Taking a break so you can see behind me. Very relaxing. Excaret, pronounced Ishkaret in the Mayan civilization, is an archaeological site located on the Caribbean coastline of the Yucatan Peninsula in the state of Quintana Roo in Mexico. It means small inlet because of a small portion of the Caribbean Sea which enters into the land. When you go into the theme park, it is a water park and an amusement park and an eco-archaeological experience all in one. Due to its privileged location in the Mayan jungle among the underground rivers, cenotes, and facing the Caribbean Sea, Ishkaret has impressive scenarios where you can do different activities and enjoy them to the fullest. It is truly an immersive experience. You will taste, see, and hear, and feel the best of Mexico. Therefore, Ishkaret has become one of the country's major attractions. If you like animals, in their natural habitat, you will not be uh, disappointed because it is such a relaxing feeling to experience these beautiful creatures and fauna and wildlife in their natural habitat. You are surrounded by a truly ecological environment and therefore you're taught how to treat the environment and we'll get to that later um, i do want to encourage you to see that everywhere you go uh, usually there is someone who will speak uh, both mexican and english and uh, you are also learning the not only the culture but the language as everything all signs are posted in mexican spanish as well as in English. If I can get around the park, take a leisurely walk, and find everything that was of interest to me, anyone can. You just follow the road. Uh, this one is color-coded white, and it will take you to the places of interest. This happened to be uh, going toward the aviary and the butterflies and um, the aquarium is, I believe, blue. But um, once you find a route, it's best you stick to it because there's no way to see everything in one day. So if you find an area of interest, just follow that route and you'll, you'll be navigated just by following the color-coded road as you look and explore. This happens to be, as we said earlier, the aviary. So you'll find not only the animals, but natural artwork and information to help you learn as you go. So you might want to stop and, as they say, smell the flowers and read the signs for a more immersive experience. And you are encouraged to take as many photos if you are worried about keeping your phone from getting wet. So keep that in mind. You want to have a, a way to keep your phone dry. Uh, the next stop on this road was uh, the Pueblo Mayan Village reenacted. So you get an idea and a taste for what things looked like in those days for the people who lived in this particular culture. 
safety protocols are in place, hand washing stations, as well as water bottle filling stations for free. So keep your water bottle so that we can preserve the uh, water bottle and um, not waste. For those of you who love to swim, you will be in swimming heaven. There is a small beach, but the favorite of the day was going through the underground tunnels and exploring and doing a little bit of snorkeling. Very relaxing. And when you get to the butterfly station, they have put food out so to attract the butterflies at several locations. Some uh, sites had more butterflies than others, but these are just some of the natural attractions, all depending on what you're interested in. You find your interest and stick with it. And then, of course, <clears throat> the food. I highly recommend the plus package because not only is your food included but you get to choose uh, the restaurant where you would like to eat and you get to experience the wonderful spectacular show at the end included in your band is this eye which you point toward cameras uh, to take photos and you can purchase the pictures if you like at the end of your trip. wonderful pre-show before the main attraction which is held at the end of the evening you see a wonderful tribute uh, welcoming all the countries and um, it's just uh, a celebration of culture today's wonderful pre-show uh, featured four horsemen one from Chiapas one from Guadalajara, Jalisco, and another one from America, and then of course one from Cuba, and they were excellent. Uh, we really enjoyed it. It kind of got you in the spirit for, you know, cheering before the big show. Back to the question at hand Is each caret worth the money? For a list of pros and cons, let's start with the pros. First of all, in my opinion, it is great for families. There are so many different activities from water fun to just walking and exploring nature and uh, experiencing the animals in their natural habitat in music, food, sights, and sounds. Um, second on my list was the fact that they really did try uh, with as many people as were there on my visit to have um, safety protocols in place. So that's important, uh, especially now with the health scare. I really appreciated the free water uh, refill stations. That was a nice touch. And uh, list, uh, last on my list of pros was the excellent assistance Routes are color-coded, and all signs are posted in English and in Spanish. Now let's talk about some of the cons. These are things to help you be prepared. So you want to be prepared to get wet and be prepared for the heat because it gets hot, and be prepared to walk and bring a change of clothes. Last but not least, be prepared to wait. There is a long line uh, in entrance to the show. In my opinion, it's worth the wait and worth every dime. So get the plus package and enjoy. Yeah.